Well, DC fandom has come and gone, and the rumor mill is already starting to churn. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm here with another video, and like I said, rumors are starting to get spread. In this case, I found an article on Pounding Into Comics entitled, Rumor, again, Rumor, Speculation, Justice League and Man of Steel sequels in the works with Zack Snyder attached. Again, I can't stress it enough, rumor, I'm not couching it as definitive, however, I will say that I'm very much hoping for this because anyone who knows me knows I'm a fan of Snyder's vision for the DCEU to include Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. I would also add to that Wonder Woman. I very much enjoyed that because you could definitely feel Zack Snyder's influence during the production of that movie. It remains to be seen what Patty Jenkins has to offer us with Wonder Woman 1984, but that's another topic for another video entirely, so I'm not going to go into my feelings on that um on that movie as it stands right now. But at any rate, let's go into this article and find out what exactly is going on. Could these come to fruition? Is it just rumor at this point? This has kind of been going for a while now. Most, more often with the hope from people who were um, going with these rumors that this could be a possibility. But like I said, with the advent of Snyder's Cut for Justice League, I think the possibility could eventually become a reality sooner rather than later. But at any rate, let's go into this article and I'll give my two cents. So, here it is. Okay, two new scoops have it that Zack Snyder's fully realized vision of a shared DC universe could very well move beyond his cut of Justice League. Inside sources of Mikey Sutton of Geekosity Mag say early talks of a Justice League sequel restarted, hinging on the Snyder cut's success. Additionally, Man of Steel 2 is strongly suggested to be in the cards as well. Alright. Okay, Pop Culture Minefield covered these possibilities as well in a recent video. Okay. So, Justice League 2 talks have begun anew. Claims, cla not claim, claims, grammar. Claims Sutton's sources. Whether Zack Snyder is involved or not remains to be seen. They continue, but if it's Justice League is the smash HBO Max and Warner Media are hoping for, then any deal will be his to turn down. Like I said, waiting to see how successful Justice League, his vision of Justice League, will be. But if that teaser is any indication to go by, oh, I'm really, really excited for it. But moving on. Putting Shazam on the team is being considered, and they, especially Superman, will need his added strength against the Legion of Doom. Recall the Legion figure figuring into a Justice League sequel has come up before in the rumor mill. Should this come to pass, it is more in line with the post credit stinger tacked onto the controversial Joss Whedon cut, Justice League. I would say controversial is a massive masterpiece of understatement cut of the first film. Casting, moreover, would be massive. Now, it sounds like now, if it sounds like the stage is being set for the DC Extended Universe to make a roaring comeback, that's because it is. And we have AT&T and Dwayne Johnson to thank. I know for Dwayne Johnson, playing Black Adam has been pretty much a passion project for the past several years. When Johnson signed on to play Black Adam, adds the scoop, he did so with the expectation he would slug it out with Shazam and Henry Cavill's Superman. Rebooting everything prevents that and would put a dent in the magnitude of debuting the Justice Society confirmed for Black Adam at DC Fandom and existing concurrently with the League. The Rock is also a fan of Snyder and the shared universe concept which he thinks he can spearhead the way Robert Downey Jr. did the MCU. The Rock made his feelings known, Sutton reported, and the People's Champ apparently gets what he wants. Warner Brothers better know their role. Conversely, the multiverse model of standalone features is also confusing. It might be scaled back despite the Flash, Michael Keaton returning to the Cal and the Batman, which is separate like Joker. I don't see it, it being that confusing. I mean, for most people who are not exactly hardcore comic book fans, it could possibly be a little bit, but at the same time, I, I think you are um, doing some people an injustice. I think, arguably... Twitter notwithstanding, people are more intelligent than you give them credit for. So I don't think it's going to be that confusing necessarily. All they would have to do is compartmentalize the different verses and it would flow easily from there. But that's neither here nor there. That's just my opinion. Okay? Man of Steel 2. 
According to Sutton's second scoop, the, interesting sur the interest surrounding the Snyder Cut turned into a boiling desire that benefits a Man of Steel sequel. The hype train reached its ultimate level, his sources say. Fans have become increasingly vocal about seeing it. The public excitement perhaps even exceeded that of the next Wonder Woman movie. Ooh. The vocal public excitement and boiling desire reportedly moved the needle on AT&T's holding pattern, a wait-and-see mentality regarding Snyder and moving ahead with Man of Steel 2 and more. Okay. Quote, I was told that they, Sutton sources, wouldn't be surprised if Snyder is given not only Man of Steel 2, but a third as well, completing his cinematic book on the Kryptonian, reads the scoop. Snyder then has a chance of finishing his planned five-movie arc for The Last Son of Krypton. Pop Culture Minefield reads it as AT&T listening to the fans and telling a Hollywood in financial freefall, you're doing it wrong. And that wake-up call is spreading to CBS, trapped in a paradigm shift with Star Trek and other entities. <clears throat> There's no way of knowing what happens until it does. Fortunately, the Snyder Cut's debut on HBO Max is less than a year away. So there is the article. Like I said, it's just rumors. It's just the rumor mill being churned again with these rumors so far. But because of the success of DC fandom with the revelation by Jim Lee in particular that they are going to be doing a multiverse, a cinematic multiverse within the DC uh, EU, it remains very much now more of a reality than it did before, in my opinion. <clears throat> Will AT&T move on it before Justice League hit Snyder's Justice League um, premieres next year? Possibly not. It's now at most a year away, if that, but we haven't gotten an official release date. However, like I said, with the success of DC fandom, the renewed calls for a sequel to Justice League, renewed calls for a Man of Steel 2 movie, maybe it could spur them into action a bit quicker than they would normally go about. But at any rate, those are the rumors, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you agree with them? Do you not agree with them? Do you like Snyder's Vision? Do you not like Snyder's Vision? Do you like Whedon's Justice League? Or if you don't like it, do you... What about Justice League don't you like? Let me know down in the comments below if, you, um, if you're if you a big fan of Whedon's vision of Justice League and you don't like what I have to say about that movie, by all means, give me a thumbs down. But at any rate, again, if you like it, thumbs up. Share on social media, if you will. Catch me tonight. Um, I don't know if Drunk3PO is doing his live stream or not. I'm assuming he still is, so catch me on that tonight. I might be a little late because I have class that's from 6 p.m. to 8.40 p.m. my time, so that's going to be fun. We'll see how it goes. I have another evening class Wednesday, uh, Wednesday from 6 to 8.40 p.m. as well, so I don't know for sure if I'm going to do a live stream or not. If I do, it'll be <clears throat> pretty soon after the end of my class, so probably around 9 p.m. or so Eastern my time, so look for that. Also, I'm planning on seeing the third Bill and Ted movie coming out this week. I'm pl I'm planning on seeing it early Friday and uh, early enough, I should say, so that way I can maybe do a a vlog video for my members to give my raw thoughts on the movie itself before I release a movie review for that film this coming Friday. So look for that as well, and any other live streams I have planned either on YouTube or Twitch. So again, this is Mara Jade. Uh, my fingers are crossed that this will come to fruition. Catch you on the dark side and take care.